Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today we are back with a review of a couple new to me things from one of my all-time favorite brands and that is of course NYX. Now I have many 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 different NYX videos on this channel including a whole playlist of just NYX reviews so I will include that down in the description box if you want to go watch that playlist, learn more about NYX. I especially recommend checking out my leak proof underwear guide which which I will include up here as a link and also down in the description. If you want to know more about leak proof undies, how they work, how you clean them, and basically answers to every question related to them, including a specific look at pretty much every single style that NYX carries in leak proof undies and how they differ, which ones are better for heavy flows, light flows, etc. So all of that information will be there. Today we are specifically going to take a look at a new pair of undies and a new bra, both of which I have never tried before. And like always, I will include links to these specific things that I'm wearing today down in the description box. So if you are looking for a specific thing, that information will be down there. Now I am a NYX ambassador, but for the month of June, all discount codes have been basically paused. So you will not be able to use any discount codes for the month of June. However, you can still buy stuff and I will still include links to everything down in the description box so you can still find all of that information down there. And once discount codes codes are kind of back in the game, I will include the discount code down in the comments. So feel free to come back maybe in July and see if there is a discount code for you down there. And with that, let's get right into reviewing the pieces. This should be a pretty quick video, hopefully fingers crossed. We are talking about the Shadow Mesh High Rise Undies and also the Wing Woman Contour Bra. Now I get so many questions about this bra and it's one of the only ones that I have never tried before for at NYX specifically because I was always a little intimidated about sizing. I wasn't sure what sizes to get. I usually wear around a 34 double D and I was not sure what that would translate to in this bra because the sizing is size one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. It's not like small, medium, large or cup size. However, on NYX's website now they do have a feature that allows you to put in your usual bra size and it will tell you what size they believe you should get based on that in any specific bra, which I found very, very helpful. So I usually wear a 34 double D and based on the NYX website that translated to a size six. And I would say that it fits really, really well. Like I'm actually a little bit surprised how well it fits. Now this bra is kind of cool compared to some of their other wireless bras, like the Lux Lift Pullover Bra or the Good To Go Bra. All of them are wireless, but they all fit in a completely different way and serve a totally different purpose. So when we look at something like the Lux Lift Pullover Bra, it definitely comes up a lot higher in the front. And I would say it provides a lot of support, but not a lot of lift. So I personally love wearing that bra under like a t-shirt. Something where I'm not necessarily looking for cleavage, I'm not looking for a ton of lift, I'm just wearing a comfy, super comfy bra and a normal little tee. The good to go bra is one of my absolute favorites. I feel like it's a really good bra for larger breasts. It offers good support, but is super, super comfy. And I feel like it looks really good under everything. Whereas the Lux Lift pullover bra sometimes does flatten you out a little bit. I don't feel like this one does that. Although sometimes I do feel like because the pads are a little bit thick in it, it adds a little too much volume in things. And it still comes up, as you can see, quite high in the center. This bra, I feel like is serving a completely different need from those two. So first off, it is fully wireless, but it does have this band at the bottom bottom that is super, super soft, but still tight enough to your body that that is where the majority of your support is coming from. Inside of here, it has basically a fully molded construction where all the way from the tip top here and all the way down to the band, it's all like a molded piece. And then it just has like this nice soft fabric over top of it that I think helps it to visually look better than it just being a plain molded bra with nothing else over top. Now this one obviously comes down quite low in the front, which means that you can actually wear this under low cut tops, which is one of the problems with a lot of my other NYX bras. They do come up a little bit too high for that. And this one also features these extra side panels that come 
out of the cup that stop you from spilling at the sides, which for me is always a major problem. So that is going to be absolutely game changing for me. And I feel like it makes it look a lot better aesthetically when I don't have boobs like busting out the sides. Now this bra does have adjustable straps and then it also has multiple different rows of clasps. So you can be sure to get this to the correct band size for you, which is really nice. And I also like that this band is nice and thick. It is three different clasp rows. So you don't have to worry about it like digging into your back. And as you can see on me, this size six, it's sitting flat across my back. It's sitting nice and flat on my shoulders. It's not digging in. And I feel like I don't have a ton of stuff busting out the top, which I tend to have in poorly fitting bras. It just fits really, really well on me. And I feel like it's going to look really good under clothing. And I know one thing that a lot of people don't like about wireless bras is they sometimes tend to get uniboob. You're not getting that here. I very much have like two fully separate breasts in this and I think that it looks really good very flattering and this would look good under clothes too and I should call out that this little colorway is called pistachio and I think that it's very adorable I love the light green I think it's really pretty for summer and also for spring so overall I would say bra definitely a fan I don't know why I've been so afraid of it for so long just use that little fitting tool on the NYX website and you should be able to get a bra that fits you properly next I have the shadow mesh high rise undies. And these are leak proof undies that hold three teaspoons of liquid, which for me, honestly, these can last me a full day on my period. If you have a very heavy flow, I would recommend either using these ones as a backup for maybe a diva cup, a tampon, a reusable pad, which NYX also sells, or just check out their super leak proof options. They have ones that can hold significantly more than this. This is just one of their lighter hold options. And keep in mind that these are not only for periods. I also really like wearing these in the summer because they wick away sweat and they also can wick away maybe a little bit of pee, maybe some postpartum blood, really anything that you can throw at them. So if you are experiencing some bladder incontinence, if you wanna be able to go run around in the summer and not feel super sweaty, these are good for all of those reasons. I also personally wear them post intercourse. The more you know, they are very multi-purpose and good for a lot of different things. Now these ones in particular, I have always loved the NYX high rise. I feel like it just hits me at exactly the right spot that I feel nice and comfy. And I think that they look really flattering because they're hitting me like right at my natural waist. They do of course make this exact same style of undie in like a thong, a brief, a boy short. So really anything that you're looking for, you can find. NYX is very good at that offering basically anything that they sell in every different style. Now the real key difference between these ones and the usual just standard high rise is they have these mesh panels on the sides which are see-through and I want to call attention to the fact that this is super soft mesh. This is not the kind of mesh that feels scratchy and rough on your skin. This honestly just feels like you're wearing like these same really soft undies all the way around until you physically put your hands on them and then you can feel that it's like a nice airy mesh there. I think obviously this looks really good and I do think that that's the purpose for these. They're just a very cute aesthetic little undie. But I also think that this will help to keep you a little bit cooler in the summer. If you get as hot as I do sometimes, wear these under a little dress you've got a little bit of extra airflow, which should be really nice. So overall, I would say both of these pieces, very cute. I definitely like both of them. Like I said, I love the green. I think it looks really adorable. And I will always love high rise undies from NYX. They're the absolute comfiest, best undies I have. And if you love a high rise undie, but you don't necessarily love like a full bum coverage, maybe you want to wear it under a tight pair of pants, the high rise thong. And this is a leak proof high rise thong. This is truly one of the best underwear inventions I've ever had. You still get that high rise. I personally hate when underwear hits me right here on my stomach. I just don't like how that looks. I 
don't like how it feels. These ones, you will never have that. You have the nice high rise, plus you still have the thongs, so they're completely invisible under clothes. Definitely, definitely recommend that one, but also these are great and I wear them under dresses and skirts all the time. And if you are somebody that does not care about underwear lines, any of the NYX undies, you will have such minimal lines that they're almost invisible anyways, and nobody should be judging you for your underwear lines. So just wear whatever underwear is comfortable for you. And with that, those are the two pieces for today. Definitely let me know how you like them. If you have tried this bra before in particular, I'd really love to know how you liked it. I do feel like bras are such a personal thing. I have definitely tried bras in the past that everybody I know loves, but I just don't find them very comfortable. And I went through an entire phase where I only wore the Lux Lift pullover bra, and now I'm kind of coming out of that phase. I still reach for them, but not every single day. And I definitely can tell that this is one that will be added to my like daily repertoire because I feel like it looks really, really good and is giving me good lift and good support and good cleavage without having to compromise on comfort. And that is so important to me, comfort over absolutely everything. And with that, thank you very much for watching this video today. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments section. Like always, I hope that you have a fabulous week and that I will see you next time. Bye!